with inspirational moments, this is Ken Jost. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 10 says, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. The former chief rabbi of Great Britain, the late Jonathan Sachs of blessed memory, drew careful distinctions between contracts and covenants. Contracts, says Rabbi Sachs, are about interests, and their goal is benefit. They address transactions between me and you. They're particularly effective in the context of free markets and liberal democracies, which is to say, markets and states, or wealth and power. Covenants, on the other hand, are more about identity than interest. Their goal is transformation. In place of a me and you, the emphasis is on us. Sachs reminds us that societies are built on covenants rather than contracts. You see, there are certain things that just cannot be achieved on the basis of self-interest alone. Think of trust, or friendship, or loyalty, or love. These are elements of a successful community, and they're all rooted in covenant. Our God is a God of covenant keeping. Remember Isaiah's words, though the mountains be shaken, God's love will never fail because the Lord has covenant compassion on us. With inspirational moments, this is Ken Jobst. God bless.